Thank you for tuning in to Tanaka TV, the best and future biggest fight channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. We're trying to get this channel to 1K subs by my birthday. Now, my birthday is February 3rd, so that's about three, four days out. I don't really see that happening, but look, I'm not, I'm not doubting you guys. I'm not doubting my subscribers and my future subscribers. So please... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to get right into it. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about Michael Venom Page making his debut in the UFC. Now, he is not only making his debut in the UFC, which is a long time coming. He will be making his UFC debut against Kevin Holland. Now, I think when you're, when you're going into the UFC and your first fight is Kevin Holland... I think that's a big deal, okay? We cannot we cannot look past Kevin Holland and the kind of fighter that he is. Now, maybe he hasn't been the most consistent fighter when it comes to wins in the UFC, but I also think that Kevin Holland has been facing some really, really tough and solid competition basically since he's been in the UFC. And we're going to look at Kevin Holland really quick, okay? Now, Kevin Holland lost to to Jack uh, Medellina. Uh, Medellina? I, 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 I'm not really familiar with that fighter. But he won, which is a very impressive win. He won against Santiago, okay? He lost against Stephen Thompson. He lost against Kamzat. He beat Tim Means. He beat Alex Oliveira. I mean, and, and after that, you know, he fought Kyle... Dalkas, he fought Marvin Vittori, he fought Derek Brunson, all of those were losses, okay, so he did have some streaks of losses, but before that, he got a solid win against Jock Carasoza, which is probably one of his most impressive wins since he's been in the UFC. So, when you look at his, when you look at his competition, and then you look at Michael Venom Page's competition. There's no doubt in my mind that Kevin Holland has had the more stiff competition. Now, nobody can argue that the UFC has probably the best the best comp in martial arts. I think the only really the only other organization that, that that puts up an argument is one championship. One championship has very very solid fighters, but the UFC I think still is at is at the top of the is at the top of the heap right now. And so when you look at Kevin Holland, I mean when you look at um, excuse me when you look at Michael Venom Page's competition, he went against Goiti Yamauchi. He won that. Then he lost against Logan. Storley, but he won against Doug, Douglas Lima. He won against Derek Anderson. He beat Ross Houston. He beat Shinzo Anzai. Giovanni Meli, Melillo. Richard Keeley, but then he lost to Douglas Lima. So we'll just look at his last eight. He's won the last seven of his eight fights, which is impressive. We're not going to take anything away from that. However, what you can take away from it is that they are not by any means the same quality of fighters that Kevin Holland has gone up against. And that's the biggest, I think, gripe that's on um, Michael Venom Page. Michael Venom Page was fighting in, in Bellator. And we all know Bellator did not have the same type of competition that the UFC had it's not even a competition in my mind I mean when you really look at it the only really super impressive win that he has out of the last 10 fights or so that he's been in was Douglas Lima Douglas Lima is is a killer but again is he on the UFC echelon of fighters level I don't I don't know I don't think so. I mean, so, so with that being said, how do we see this fight going? With everything that I just said, how 
do we see this fight playing out? I would have to say that I have Kevin Holland winning. I think Michael Venom Page, he is a very dangerous striker. But he's also a dangerous striker that is the age of 36 years old. And we have to keep that into into it. We have to, we have to take that into account, people. That he is not a spring chicken when it comes to the MMA world. 36 is at the tail end. And the whole grand scheme of things is at the tail end of your prime as a fighter. He maybe has two more years left left of prime fighting and so if he if he plans on being a ufc champion it's gotta happen soon and it starts now he's gotta beat kevin holland like the 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 chips are are like they're in his they're, they're on his playing field right now all the weight and, and and all the pressure goes to michael venom page i think i think kevin holland has something to prove and i think it's a big win if he gets it against michael venom page it's a very nice thing to have on your record that you beat michael venom page because michael venom page outside of the ufc has probably one of the bigger names of mma fighters but i don't think michael venom page has enough to beat kevin holland kevin holland is a very so is a very solid striker he's a very solid um grappling artist He's a very complete fighter overall. Now, I do think that he, he needs to work on some things. Now, Kevin Holland, I think he's in his young 30s. I think he's like 32 or something of that nature. Um, and so he's not necessarily a super spring chicken either. But he's he he's heading towards his prime, if not in his prime now. And so I think that there's a lot of momentum going Kevin Holland's way. The fact that he's younger. The fact that he has gone up against much stronger competition, so he, in my mind, is more game, and he's a more complete fighter. I don't I, I don't think Michael Vin, Midham Page has really an ounce of grappling when it comes to him versus Kevin Holland. I think Kevin Holland sweeps him when it comes to the grappling game. And so that's how I see the, the, the match going. I think Kevin Holland is going to pick his shots very intelligently, which he, he has typically done within the last couple of fights. I've seen a lot of improvement in his striking game. I think when it comes to wrestling, Kevin Holland, like I said, sweeps Michael Venom Page. And everything in between, the clinching, the pressure that he's going to put on, on Michael Venom, I think that's his route of winning, putting pressure on Page and not allowing him to get off that, 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 that karate-style beat that that comes along with Paige's style. And so with that being said, what is the percentage that I give? I I I'll give it 70-30 going Kevin Holland's way. 70% chance of Kevin Holland winning this fight. I think the only way that Michael Venom Page wins this is by a spectacular knockout. Getting a flash knockout of some sort that None of us will see coming, like a flying knee or a head kick or a pinpoint cross of some sort. Something of that nature that is just like a flash. Boom. Now, Kevin Holland, he has many ways of winning this. I do think Kevin Holland can knock out Michael Venom Page. I do think Kevin Holland can submit him. I do think that he can ground and pound him. I think wherever this fight goes, Kevin Holland can win. And that's a dangerous place to be if you're Michael Venom Page. And he and and he has not gone up against that kind of competition. I mean, as of recently or or even that much in his career. Let's be honest. And if we want to put Kevin Holland in the shoes of Michael Venom Page, Kevin Holland could have been a Bellator champion. I'm not taking uh, I'm not taking that back either. I stand on that statement. I really do believe that Kevin Holland could very well have been a Bellator champion. But you see the difficulty that it's been for him in the UFC. 
that's this 50 50 win loss win loss that's just how the competition works for a lot of fighters in the ufc who are also game fighters kevin holland i think will have a hard time being extremely successful in the ufc at this point in time in his career maybe if he came maybe 10 years ago if he came even five years ago we might be singing a, dif a different story but being that he is in his late 30s coming into the ufc against one of the hardest weight classes in my opinion it's going to be a rough outing for you every time because the ufc is not going to give page easy fights they're going to give him difficult competition as they should and so comment down below people what you think do you think that michael venom page is going to have a lot of success in the ufc or do you think he's going to fold how do you see him fighting up against kevin holland who do you have winning please comment down below i would love to get your opinions on this fight like i said i've got kevin holland winning by wherever he wants to win do i see it being competitive maybe for the first round or so i think you're going to see a lot of um you know you're going to see a lot of checking out each other's rhythm you're going to see a lot of um you know point style fighting in the beginning until kevin holland wants to make it a dirty fight and i think that's where kevin holland wins so comment down below and i'll catch you guys on the next one